Hey guys, today we're going to make a delicious kale bite or a muse. It's a savory kale meringue with comfy chalot, kale flan, a bacon cream and crispy bacon. So, let's begin. First, we're going to make a kale coulis or puree. This will be the base for the meringue and the flan. Start by picking the leaves from one big kale. Then cut along the vein to remove it. In total, you'll need around 800 grams of cleaned leaves. Once that's done, bring a big pot of water to a boil and season it with a generous amount of salt. Then blanch all the kale for around 2 to 3 minutes. This might seem short, but like I said, this is a base and otherwise the coulis will turn brown. Now cool the kale down in ice water. I only have one big pot, so I just added a big amount of ice cubes to cool it down. It works great as well. Then transfer the blanched kale on a colander and let it drain for at least 15 minutes. Meanwhile, cut two shallots in half and clean them. Now chop them. Then add a drizzle of oil to a hot pan and glaze the shallots on a low heat. Add some salt for seasoning and to help soften the shallots. Once softened, add 250 grams of vegetable broth and turn off the heat. Then transfer the kale into a blender and also add the shallots and broth. Blend this till completely smooth. This can take a couple of minutes. After that, pass it through a fine sieve. Using a ladle will make this a lot easier. Now this is the base coulis. It's already delicious like this, but we're going to use it for two other recipes. First a meringue. Pour 200 grams of the coulis into a measuring jar, together with 30 grams of a dark ponzu, 60 grams of egg white powder, and 70 grams of icing sugar. Now blend this till smooth. Make sure there are no more lumps, because those will not dissolve later on. Then pour the mixture into a mixing bowl and start beating it till stiff peaks have formed. This really takes some time, so don't be surprised if it needs to mix for 5 to 10 minutes. Once it's a stiff meringue, transfer it into a piping bag that's fitted with a small round nozzle. Then pipe small equal meringues on a silicon sheet. Now sprinkle some flaky salt on top and let the meringue dry at 70 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. After that, turn down the temperature to 50 degrees Celsius and let them dry for at least 5 hours. Then you only need to shave a little bit off the top off to make them stand level. Keep them dry and covered for later. Now for the flan. Mix 150 grams of the kale coulis with 45 grams of egg yolk, 2 grams of salt and 15 grams of olive oil. Now mix this till it's one even mixture. Then fill your desired mold all the way. This is the kale mold from Mold Brothers. Find a link in the description of this video. Now cover the top of the mold with some foil and steam it at 85 degrees Celsius for 16 minutes. After that, let it cool down for 5 minutes and then freeze the flan till solid. Once it's frozen, gently remove it from the mold and let it defrost on a tray that's lined with some foil. Then cut it with a cutter that's the same size as the meringue and keep them in your fridge for later. Now for the bacon. Take a piece of around 150 grams of bacon and cut it in thick slices. Cut those slices in small cubes. Then add a drizzle of oil to a hot frying pan and pan fry the bacon on a medium heat till cold and crispy. Mix it every now and then to get an even color. Once it's golden, let the fat drain on a fine sieve. When it's properly drained, keep it dry and covered at room temperature for later. Now for the coffee chalot. Take four shallots and cut them in half. Now clean them and then cut them in thin slices. Cut those slices in very thin cubes. Then pour the bacon fat into the frying pan together with the chopped shallots. Now confit the shallots on the lowest heat. It might take some time, but you'll end up with a very delicious end result. Then let the shallots drain on a fine sieve. After, keep it in your fridge for later. Now for the bacon emulsion. First mix 25 grams of the bacon and shallot fat together with 20 grams of egg white, 10 grams of sushi vinegar, 15 grams of ice cubes, 3 grams of salt, 5 turns of black pepper and 17 grams of sunflower oil. Now blend this till it's a smooth emulsion. Let it set in your fridge for at least 30 minutes to let it firm up a bit. Now for the crispy kale. Lay a piece of kitchen paper between two sieves to protect yourself from any hot oil drops. Deep fry the kale in some frying oil that's 170 degrees Celsius and directly place the sieve on top to protect yourself. When it stops bubbling, take the kale out of the oil and lay it on some kitchen paper. Season with salt and keep it dry and covered for later. Now for the final prep. 
Mix the comfy chalot with the crispy bacon and season it with lemon zest and salt. Then place a teaspoon of the tatar into the round cutter and press it all the way down with a small stamp. You can prep this on the day, but don't do it too soon, otherwise the bacon will become soggy. Then lay the kale flan on top. Now we can finish the muse. Lay the meringue on a plate and place the shallot and bacon tatar on top. Then pipe a dot of the bacon emulsion on the flan and finish it off with the crispy fried kale. Okay guys, that's it for today. Super happy with the result. The bites look amazing and the combination of kale with shallot and bacon is just golden. The only thing that might be missing is potato to make it really old school winter. But I think it's gonna be great anyway. Let's just dig in. Mm. That's really nice. That's super nice. The flan, really flavorful. Mm. The meringue as well. The texture is great. And then in combination with the bacon, the confit shallot and the little crispiness of the bacon in between as well. Yeah, really nice bite or muse, whatever you want to call it. Um, so guys, yeah, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please let me know in the comments on what you want to see next. Like and share the video and subscribe if you want to see more amazing recipes and culinary content. And as always, bon appétit.